Welcome Virgo to your bonus love reading for July. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So if you are new, how we do things here, it's going to be a very quick bonus read for you guys. Um, we are going to use the AF Tarot deck, okay, uh, to pull some energies, do some tarot. At the end of the reading, we are going to pull these lovers of oracles, followed by the hidden truth messages from your person. We also are going to pull the price of love oracle deck, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into your reading Virgo and see what is coming in for you guys we have the two of cups energy so it's respect and balance nice strong emotional bond here we have the four of wands everything's going good in this relationship from what we see let's see Something flipped. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Ace of Cups, new love. So new beginnings here. This is nice. Spirituality and fulfillment. And then we have the magician, okay? Um, so you could be seeing synchronicities, manifesting each other here. So let's go ahead and grab the price of love. Romance. Okay very clear on what is going on here and know your worth okay keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind we have the high priestess four of wands again the page of wands three of cups the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn we have the full energy king of panic queen of pentacles this is beautiful page of cups nine of swords okay except that outcome <laughs> and we have that's the only thing though okay um and then we have the high priestess and the ten of pentacles and death here okay Okay, Virgo, so your reading is very much, you know, a lot of love here. <laughs> we do have the Two of Cups, which is about, you know, romance here, very strongly here. But there's a very strong emotional connection here of two people, okay? And there is respect, there's balance, there's love, there's communication. There's no doubt about that. Maybe a strong relationship here with this Four of Wands or starting out a strong foundation, very happy with this new love. Now the Ace of Cups, again, new romantic partnerships. This is a renewed, um, could be renewed, um, a recommitment. But this is feeling like really happy and fulfilled, you know, spiritually within yourself, feeling good about you and within this partner. We do have this high priestess. So there could be something here that, you know, that you could be suspicious about or having some gut feelings, but this is you being very intuitive, okay? So I feel like you are very aware about situations and you listen to your gut. And it all has to do with this commitment, this 10 of pentacles, this long-term possible marriage, right? This foundation here, because it's a joy, abundance, and love. But I feel like the challenge here is this three of wands. So there could be a connection of a feeling of like, is there like another like suspicious that this other person is talking to somebody else? Okay, that could be for some of you or this could be, you know, not feeling like you're hurt or some miscommunication. There's something here within this relationship, even though everything's fine, but there's something that is nudging you that's making you feel something. Okay. Um, like it needs to be addressed and I feel like you are you know wanting that stability wanting that family that that home um, That relationship and going into the next level like this is hitting a milestone here This person I feel wants to communicate it could be something that they said or however But this is like them wanting to communicate with you like a message here It's possibly regarding you know something that again that triggered your intuition we do have the king and queen. So again, this is a very, this is like both, this is like marriage, okay? Marriage material. This is how this relationship is. 
it's very solid and loving. Like they look at you as the queen, you look at them as the king. It feels good, you know, there's a lot of abundance. Now, there's something here though with this new beginning that's starting. And this could be a new beginning, a brand new chapter. I'm feeling proposal. I don't know why, I just feel proposal because this reading is so good. There is something in the end though, okay, here. Something possibly ended from the past. I feel like this is like past energy with this hangman that you had to surrender possible. Something that was going very slow here and that you wanted to eager to start something but you had to walk away from this. So this is like something in the past that ended. Okay, and then something new is now beginning. Okay, so this is like that full energy. What you don't see coming is this page of cups. This is very unexpected energy. I mean, I, sh I should clarify because it's very, it's like right here. Like somebody wanting to give you an emotional offer, somebody wanting to come towards you and it's very unexpected and it's like, it's either an apology or like a proposal. The nine of swords and the outcome is someone stressing about this, okay? Now this could be either, like I'm feeling like a couple things. This could either somebody, you know, stressing out because they're hiding something with, from you and your intuition is right. Or this could be somebody stressing out as to them wanting to, uh, you know, propose in a way or wanting to take things to the next level here, right? There could, something here in the outcome is causing some sleepless nights. And this can be, you know, and I'm not saying this person's going to propose to you tomorrow or however. There's just like, it's like on the table here. Um, and I feel like that is what you're wanting to, okay, is, is this going to be something solid, like forever? Um, so let's go ahead and see what your intuition, we'll have the high priestess here. What is going on with this high priestess energy? Yeah, it's this message, okay, of this new beginning. So this is feeling excited to start something new with this romantic partnership. This is the new beginning, right? This is someone that is very romantic and loving and wanting to start something new here with you. I mean, this probably, if this hasn't started yet or you're in beginning stages, this is what this person wants. And they don't wanna see anybody but you. But if you're in this relationship for a while and it's honeymoon phase, there could be a suspicion of, of them possibly talking to somebody else. Or again, proposal. But there, again, there's that page of wands energy. They're wanting to offer something, this new beginning of commitment. It's really beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what this page of cups energy is. Okay, so they're waiting on this. Um, they're, not, they're not addressing it yet, but there's something that they could, you could be, or they could be avoiding or not addressing at this time, but they are looking out in the future regarding this, okay? So again, I'm, I'm feeling big proposal marriage energy. Um, let's see what this nine of swords is. The sun, yeah. I mean, this is happily ever after. So we have the sun energy. So it's just stress, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. The sun comes through this stress, okay? Um, very powerful. This is a Virgo who's possibly starting something new, honeymoon stage, or been with this person for like less than a year, maybe a year or two, and now there's um, something here that is, you know, go taking things to the next level here, okay? So whatever stage you are in this, the beginning stages, middle stages, however, I just feel like it's coming in no matter what. This is a really beautiful reading for you guys. Let's see what this person has to say. Okay, sorry about the um, the air. I'll turn that off in a minute. I see life differently now. I'm not over you. I daydream a life about you and I trusted you here. Oh, okay, so I feel like this view broke my heart is from this past person. Could be two people, maybe, yeah, three people, three energies, and I trusted you. Uh, I want you back. I feel like this is more of the past person, because there's something lingering here, okay? And we have three people, possibly. So it's like a past person um, here. Now that could be for the other person, too, but I feel like this person here, or whoever this may be, they're daydreaming a life about you. They see life differently. 
and they're not over you. This could be somebody, maybe probably from the past while you're in a relationship, wanting to come in also, okay? So definitely be aware of that. And then um, that's for some of you guys. And then let's get the lovers of oracles. Whoa. Only time will tell. So this is on the universe's timing here. So patience is needed. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Ooh. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it'll all work out for the best. And look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, yeah, because your intuition, your gut is here. It's stating something's going on, but again, it's like, trust yourself. I mean, trust the, listen to your intuition, your gut. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you, Virgo. If you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys for August. God bless.